Good morning guys! It is Thursday in Orlando. We are headed to the Animal Kingdom today and I just want to show you real quick what I am taking with me for food and beverages. So I have over here, I have one um, Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap in the bag for one smart points. It is of course the, it is the High Fiber Low Carb Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap for one smart point. Here I'm going to make a peanut butter banana wrap so in this bag, I have two tablespoons of PB2 for one smart point. I will actually add water and you just squish it up in the bag to mix it up. So when I'm ready for my peanut butter banana wrap, I add the water, squish it up, tear a little hole in the side of the bag and just squish it out onto my wrap. And then I unwrap my banana and stick it right inside. So peanut butter banana wrap for two smart points. Grapes for zero, apples for zero. I have one bottle of half and half sangria for 14 smart points and one bottle of sparkling lime water for zero smart points. So everything so far is 16 smart points for the day. Okay, I'm also having this coffee, zero points, with one tablespoon of this fat-free half and half for zero points. Okay guys, we are finally headed to the animal kingdom. Woohoo! I gotta show you my outfit of the day later back of it because it's very appropriate. Um, I did not do my video last night because I was so exhausted. I had plans to wake up this morning and run and then go to a Weight Watchers meeting. And you know what? I'm just so glad that I chose to listen to my body and do none of that. I slept in until nine o'clock and I feel a hundred million thousand times better. Sometimes vacations just wear you out. Disney in general wears me out. So I kind of knew I may not do the video or finish the video. I did video all day yesterday. I just need to edit it for you guys and post it up. But sometimes it's really hard to do the same day on a Disney day because it's exhausting. And the videos are always super long because you should just go raw and just send it. <laughs> Who cares? I could, but I still have to edit sound and no, you don't. All that good stuff. Yeah, it's also do. like 45 minutes long, Just so. Just tell the viewers. I don't know if you guys want to watch 45 minutes of Kelly screaming <laughs> on roller coasters. <laughs> tell the viewers what? To turn their volume up. Turn your volume up. Anyway, so at some point I will get the first day, that was only the first day at Mag Magic Kingdom. I'll get it uploaded for you guys. But. My point here is that it's good to listen to your body, get some rest when you need it, and the other thing I need to listen to what my body is saying is, Julie, eat lighter. Because <laughs> I, thankfully, second day of Teamy T kicked in a little bit, so I'm feeling a little bit lighter, but oh my gosh, the food, I just need to choose lighter options. Choose lighter for my own health and safety. <laughs> this is a public service announcement to myself. Choose light. Okay, here's my outfit of the day. And I finally found the ears I want. They don't have those at Disneyland. Mm -mm. Okay, we are in Pandora.
Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> Help us out and move around a bit. Almost. Yes, got him. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. Right. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. When you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. Please go to the number that matches the number you're standing on now. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags, cameras, and other items, including cell phones. It's important to push them all the way into the bin. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold onto the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold onto the hand grips at all times. After you're seated, back and leg restraints will be firmly engaged. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, always remain seated and supervise your children. Inclinarse hacia adelante agarrando las barras y supervisen a sus niños. Gracias. I'm in the Avatar Pandora gift shop, which is nothing like the real Pandora world. And I have to tell you, that ride was amazing. Did you like the ride? Yes, it was. It was, it was, was fun. It scary? Where's the camera? Eddie got stuck on the ride. He almost had to go twice. That was amazing. I can't even describe it. And the reason nobody takes a video of it is because you have to, it's 3D for one thing and you sit on these bike things and you have to put your um, stuff and your camera and everything, your phone, on a back wall. Except for Eddie, he's a rebel. Um, but it's amazing. And this whole Pandora world is amazing. Okay guys, we're about to go on a safari in Africa. But the crazy thing is that Kelly has actually been to Africa. <laughs> so she's gonna tell me if this is the real deal or if Disney's faking it. <laughs> I bet it's gonna be good. It's gonna be awesome. I've been on this before, but I'm not telling her. Okay. <laughs> They're herbivores, so they like to eat vegetation. Oh my god. They even have special molars at the back of their mouths for grinding all that vegetation up with. An 18 inch no, long incisor to the front of their mouth, which they're using for self defense. The hippo is the most dangerous animal in all of Africa. They're known to store massive amounts of water inside their trunks, and have been growing up here in Harambe for about 3,000 years. Local Africans don't call them wildebeest, so they're known as the Nu, spelled G-N-U. They're called this because of the sounds that they make. There are nine subspecies of giraffe. The ones most commonly found in this reserve are the Maasai giraffes. We can tell they're Maasai because they'll have a slightly jagged edge to their spots. Their males get up to 20 feet tall, and their babies are born at 6 feet. They have very impressive horns on top of their heads. And coley cattle horns are about three to four feet long, and they're not too heavy because they're semi-hollow on the inside. They're filled with a honeycomb-like structure of blood vessels, allowing the blood to flow through their horns and helping to drastically reduce their steroids. Or will join a bachelor herd, but ultimately need a while before they learn how to use their trunks. <coughs> There's over a hundred thousand muscles in their trunks as they blend with each other rather than their surroundings. Frogs, lizards, and snakes. They also like to eat small mammals and other birds if they can. And beautiful tree of life. All hand carved. Right? Is it hand carved? I don't know if it's hand carved, but it's carved. It's amazing. So beautiful. 
We're here, Mount Everest. I feel like I need to conquer Mount Everest. Beautiful. Oh, why are people screaming? Why are people screaming, Kelly? Screaming, Kelly. I think we're gonna climb it right now. Guys, we're about to get on the roller coaster, Mount Everest. Super excited. I'm scared. <laughs> Somebody's excited. Oh Kidani Village in Orlando, Florida. This is the village that we stayed at. This is the African Lodge. We stayed here last year and we stayed in those rooms over there. The balconies overlook this African savanna plain. And there are animals out there and they just wander around. They come right up under the balconies. There's not really anybody out there right now. If you look way, way far back, there's a zebra and a giraffe. Everybody's staying in out of the heat. Okay, we found some animals. There is a zebra and some birds. And there's somebody hanging out over there. Oh, he's wiggling his nose at me. Do it again, mister. You look like a rabbit. Do it again. Do it again. He turns away from me. He just snuffed you. Yes, he did. Fine. Oh, everybody's laying down now. It's pretty hot. Okay, now we are inside of the village, the Kidani Lodge. So beautiful in here. Lots of African artifacts. There's a couple of natives. Hey! And there's somebody else I know. We're about to take a culinary tour at a Disney resort. I'm super excited because I've always wondered how Disney keeps up with all the massive like food production and they make it so good. Are you excited, Eddie? 
They order out. <laughs> they don't order out. So this is the restaurant and it's totally closed right now. It's beautiful. So, but everything here obviously is, I think, well, most everything is African food. So we're gonna see the largest collection outside of South Africa. So as you can see, we've got what we call our wine trees over here. So um, they are cast iron. They were crafted in South Africa and then imported into the country. So um, yeah, so they're more, as you can see, it's more of a haystack shape than it is an actual tree shape. So this haystack shape is sort of like Jiko's Hidden Mickey. So it's everywhere. You notice we have these rings over here. So has anybody heard of the Ndebele tribe before, the Maasai tribe? Yes. Okay, yeah. So those are the ladies with the rings around their neck. So um, basically what these are, these are actually a status symbol. So um, the more you do for your community, how much your husband earns, um, that sort of thing it kind of gains you more rings around your neck. So as you can see on the different poles, we've got varying amounts on every, on all of the poles just to kind of show that. <laughs> Alrighty, so as you can see, we've got two boards over here. So this is our taste of Africa. So it consists of three different types of bread and four different types of dipping sauces here at the back. So starting over here, we have a flaxseed naan bread. Next to it, the light one is a um, Egyptian fatia bread. And then over here we have a pop it up. Okay. Your sauces starting at the back, the um, red one is oops, sorry, is a buna masala. So sort of sweet and spicy. Um, if you're not usually used to your spicy things, maybe take a little bit to start off with. It is pretty good, but everyone's got different palates. Um, next to it we've got a hummus with an olive chamula on the top. Um, next to it is a cucumber raita. And then next to that, the yellow one is a mango chutney. Mm -hmm. My name is Martha and I come from South Africa and Johannesburg. I've been with the Disney International Program for over a year now. Actually, I fly back in two weeks' time, so it's been, it's been wonderful, but I'm excited that I've been back home. So, and this will be my final culinary tour, so you guys are going to get quite experience with that. So, we'll start with the, kind of the statue that we have over here. These are three out of the big five animals. We have the lion, the elephant, and as well as the leopard. What we're missing is the water buffalo and the rhinoceros. So those animals are known as the big five animals. They were the commonly most feared five animals uh, if you approach them by foot. And they are also the five uh, big animals which have no known uh, common predator in the wildlife except for humans, unfortunately, as they have been poached in the past for their, their fur and as well as their ivory. So if you take a look at this table over here, this table is what is it's similar to the shape of the continent of Africa. Um, prior to, um, so on the left hand side of things, you have the Indian Ocean, and then on the right side, there is the Atlantic Ocean. So now. Um, Christopher Columbus decided that if he goes further side on this side of the country, he would eventually go all the way around and find India. And that's why we have little islands called the West Indies, because he believed he's on the west side of India, and then he's going to eventually arrive in India, and then he actually uh, discovered America. Um, Jan van Riebeek and his team, the Dutch, decided they were going to go further down south, and they thought that there was just a little bit of land that is in their way so if they can travel all the way around this land they would eventually get to India but instead they discovered that this is not just a little piece of land it's actually a huge continent and then they actually eventually decided to stay at the Cape Point that is where they be, um, the Cape Point became somewhat of a pit stop because um, uh, uh, cru sh ship cruises at the time took months and months of end so um, in terms of food supplies and as well as um, so they would actually, that would be their pit stop to find, to stop and refresh, get some new supplies and then continue their route further to India. So that, that's how um, the development of Cape Town became to, came to be in the early 1600s. Now we are going to be tasting the Ni spicy Nigerian peanut soup. It contains dairy and it contains some nuts. Ice cream? I think so. For sure. 
favorite food that you guys have? It's the soups and the zebra dogs. Yeah. The soups and the zebra dogs. That's my two favorites. Okay, you guys, that, that was an interesting tour. Number one, I was hoping for more behind the scenes, Disney, massive food volume kind of stuff, but I mean, those are individual restaurants, so it makes sense that they're not doing the kind of volume. Stay in the left three lanes. In one. Why the would you put that up so high? It wasn't up that high. Yes, it was. You put it up. And you just. You just said the effort on my face. I'm kidding. Shh. I care. That's me. That just gave me the biggest heart attack. What was I even saying? The point of what I was saying was. I can breathe. Okay, the peanut soup. Stop it! I'm trying to use Maybe this video. Maybe you should video. redo it because I don't want to be on that. Anyway, so the African peanut soup was amazing. Am I getting off here? Kelly and I were looking at yes, get off here. Kelly and I were looking at a recipe for how to make it. The recipe was all fine and dandy. A little bit of olive oil that you could not use. It used um, chicken broth instead of uh, cream, so no cream, and. <laughs> The scary part about the recipe was it used, um, go straight. The scary part about the recipe is that it used one full 18 ounce jar of peanut butter, which is 101 points. For 10 servings, it's not terrible, but I'm trying to hack a way that I can make this spicy African peanut soup and make it closer to maybe two points per cup. Uh, is that too much to ask for? Yeah. <laughs> so if we half the amount of peanut butter, that would take it down to five points per cup, and then add in some PB2 for extra flavor, might take it to about six points per cup. Any other ideas, you guys? Does anybody know how to make this soup, and does anybody know how to make it low points? You're talking about Africa. They're not looking at points. There's starving children in Africa. <laughs> they need their peanut butter. They need that peanut I butter. do not need peanut butter because I got peanut butter chunks around my waist already. I got chunky peanut butter on my thighs and my butt. I don't need more peanut butter. Right here. I gotta go. This video is getting crazy and I have to figure out now how to bleep out 500 million F words so that YouTube doesn't censor me and say your content is not approved for ages of You know, whatever whatever YouTube says. Okay, we just stopped at the hotel for a quick change roo switcheroo of clothes because we're going outside It's gonna be cold tonight. I am having right now a little snack I'm having one of these yummy yummy hard-boiled eggs for zero smart points. Okay, here we are at House of Blues. I almost said Splitsville, which is right over there. We are in Disney Springs. I'm waiting for Kelly and Jamie, and Eddie just went to the car too. So we are chillaxing, listen to some music. I am gonna do some research tonight for where we are gonna have our meetup on April 20 something, next Friday. So um, possibly outside here at House of Blues, it's not too, too loud, but I don't know if we would be able to find enough seating, but it's nice, but it, uh, it might also be cold, so you guys throw me some tips if you know where we should have our meetup that's not too loud, not too pricey, but lots of Disney fun. Okay, it doesn't have to be Disney fun, <laughs> just fun.
Okay, this is hard to believe, but all the times that we've actually been at Ghirardelli, we've never eaten a thing here except yes, we have. the free chocolate. We, chocolate. we always eat free chocolate because, you know, it's free. So tonight, under the bad influence of <laughs> that girl and that guy, we actually decided to order something. So I got some uh, Java chip espresso something ice cream. This is one scoop. That's a good scoop. That's which really scoop. I, I like a big scoop. And I got some, I can't take it out. It's hot fudge, hot fudge and butterscotch. And I'll try to show you the points after I eat it, which I never recommend. <laughs> Always look up the points first, trust me. But I am splitting this with Eddie. You're gonna have half? I told you I'd have a bite. I'm having all of this minus one bite. 